everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today's video is all about visualization, which is part of our Law of Attraction series, which actually created quite a lot of momentum, which is amazing considering the name of the title. So what I wanted to do is talk you through some visualization techniques that have helped me along my journey. One of them, look at this. Let me just open to my notebook. Look at the notebook, by the way. Well, hello, gorgeous. In the front part of my notebook, I keep this, a $50 note, which I put there purposely. Oh, now I've lost my notes. Oh, here we go. Which I put there purposely because I actually use the power of visualization to turn $1 into $50. Now this is crazy, but it happened when I was going through eBay. I was actually looking for a new bed head. If you watch my KonMari series, you would know um, I'm getting rid of items that no longer spark joy. I don't like the bed head. So I was looking on eBay and I was like scrolling through and I was like, oh, there's a bed head on here and no one has bidded. So I bid on it for a dollar. Two hours later, I won. The bed head was around the corner from me. We picked it up. Um, I brought it back home and I said to Peter, I don't think it sparks joy anymore. And I was thinking about covering it. But I was like, nah, it's too much work. It was a little bit intricate. It wasn't just a put material over and staple gun it around. Anyway, so I actually posted the bed head on, um, Oh, what do you call it? Facebook Marketplace. I sold it within two days for $50 and I was visualizing someone buying it quickly. And I knew that when my energy level is elevated, so when you are eating um, whole ripe, delicious, fresh fruits and vegetables, you are exercising, you are meditating, basically anything to raise your frequency, the power of visualization happens a lot quicker. For instance, if you were to sit on the couch and were like, no one is buying my bed head, which is crazy. So I made sure I elevated my frequency and I was like, yes, someone's gonna buy it and they're going to be super lovely and it's gonna happen very, very quickly. And it did. So within two or three days, I turned $1 into 50. So it got me thinking about the power of visualization and I know I've mentioned it a couple of times but I've never really sat down to nut out the nuts and bolts around it. So today is the day or it is your lucky day so I hope you enjoy today's video. So when we are immersing ourselves in the world we are constantly using our eyeballs, <laughs> I really love that word for some reason. Um, and which is casting visualizations into our life. So if you go to the cinema and you're watching a horror movie or something that makes you jump and you feel scared, that is the power of visualization right there. That is the reason I do not own um, conventional TV. I have a TV, you can't see it, but it's over there, but it is not a conventional TV. It is a TV, but it's not plugged into the network. So we watch movies on, um, on the TV just to bring it up bigger than our laptop. Um, I'm also very mindful about the YouTube channels that I now watch. Um, I got rid of, I had a massive cull. This is also linked into the KonMari method as well. Channels that didn't elevate my frequency. I was just nine, what is it? Mind numbing um, hours watching YouTube. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm very mindful about what I am showing my subconscious. Um, so that's another reason why I'm just choosing YouTube um, movies and the movies that we actually hire or watch, um, just something that elevates your frequency and something that is not negative. That's probably what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way, even though we're up to five minutes already. So another thing is I visualize by closing down my eyes and basically using my imagination to create a movie in my head. So let's say for instance, I have this fabulous cup here that my sister gave me. I'm just drunk out of it, by the way. And on the top it says, when you drink this, think of love for me. I absolutely, 
massive. Anyway, it's a beautiful cup. <laughs> and so if we're gonna practice an exercise, I want you to choose something around you like right now. It could be a pen, it could be, what else have I got here? The remote control to my air conditioning because it is so hot in Australia right now. So I'm, just choose whatever you have, take it in your hands and what I want you to do is to look at it. I know it sounds crazy, but just take it and look. Okay, so you're trying to work out what it actually looks like. Then what I want you to do is to close your eyes and then see if you can visualize what's in front of you. So just have a quick look again and then close your eyes and see if you can visualize it. That's it, it's like a little movie in your head. So you can do that with whatever you want to achieve. As 2017 is a brand new year, not only because of, it is January, but because of the numerology associated with it. I've spoken about this before, add 2017, compress them together, add them all up, sing, simplify it into one digit, and it is a numerology of one, one signifying a new year. So what kind of things do you want to visualize or manifest into your life for this year? Maybe it's a new job, you want to change careers, maybe you want to increase your fitness, maybe you want to learn how to make that recipe, or maybe you want to get to the end of this book and you don't know how you're going to do it because you've got the kids going crazy, school's just started, you've got to make the lunches and you've got to help with homework and you're working full time as well. Life is crazy. So what I want you to do is to spend time, I do this most likely, um, or not most likely, typically before I go to bed and use the, the moments before I drift off to sleep, depending on how like tired I am at the end of the day, and then when I wake up in the morning. So it's kind of like the time, it's like my mellow time, my self-love time. Um, or I call them my self-love practices. So it's just a time where you are basically imagining what you want. It sounds so easy, and it is, but you need to watch my video, how to release emotional and physical blockages, because sometimes that comes in and it ruins the process of visualization. And it's also linked into the video, how to manifest everything. So it's just closing your eyes, using your imagination, and just going through the motions. Oh, another thing is that when you are going through visualization, link it to the five senses so it feels like, um, like a 3D surround sound kind of experience. How do you feel? What can you smell? What can you taste? Um, you know, just include all of the senses. Sometimes through visualization, I actually do this through a meditation, I actually have cried and I was feeling how I would feel when I sell my first book, which brought me to tears, which is pretty trippy when you think about it, but it's absolutely amazing. Another tool of visualization is vision boards. I have made vision boards for ages and I typically have them on my desktop um, I have one on my iPad and I also have one on my iPhone. I was told recently that there is actually more power of visualization through actually cutting out images and gluing them into a book or putting them onto a cork board. I haven't done that yet because I, I don't like having stuff. Um, I'd rather be able to see it. But if that's something that works for you, and I do need to try, I just don't have any magazines. Um, maybe I need to visualize the magazines. Actually, that would be really good. I'll visualize getting some magazines and when they drop into my lap, and then I'll make you a video about it. If that's something you want to see, comment below. I would love to make one for you. Or maybe if you're more of a digital kind of um, person like me, I can go through the process of me actually making my vision board and I can talk about the different quadrants that I have um, because I kind of like having like a work one, an exercise one, um, a personal one, and what's the other one? I don't know, I have four quadrants, I just can't remember what it is. Anyways, my love, that is basically how I visualize in my life. So I have a little tip, just choose something that's close to you, look at it, 
close your eyes, visualize it. It's just a little exercise. And then when you work out what you want to manifest into your life, choose whatever it is. Use your, your imagination to visualize a movie because the universe picks up on what you are um, trying to visualize. So be very careful about what you're submersing, immersing your subconscious into because it's going to influence your reality. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching everyone. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I wish you all the best with your visualizations. Comment below, let me know what you are visualizing right now. I can't wait to comment back to you and to hear how you're going. If you're new to the MK Love Fam, subscribe videos every Tuesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Having a... I'm getting tongue tied now. This is like the second video I filmed back to back. Anyways, my love, I just wanted to say have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Remember, continue to make better choices and I will see you next episode. I love you so much. Goodbye.